Hi guys, so today we are going to do a DIY how to make Play-Doh. This is, you can do a craft with kids or any kids if you're babysitting. It's actually kind of fun, but you have to leave it in the bowl so it won't create a big mess. So right here, I have it. It's kind of crumbly, but not a lot. So if you grab a piece and you smush it like together, it creates this little dough ball and you can just pick it up in different pieces and just have fun with it. It's really squishy. It's moldable. And you can also make this with household items. Okay, so the things that you're going to need the items you are going to need is a bowl or something to mix in. It could be like a bowl or a plate or something like that. Um, you're going to need a fork or a spoon or something to mix with. You're going to need one tablespoon of um, an ingredient that we're going to use. And that is it for the items that we're going to use. For the ingredients we are going to need all-purpose flour. It could be uh, the all-purpose flour or just some plain flour. Um, also going to need vegetable oil and cream of tartar and last but not least um, the food coloring. The, the food coloring is optional if you want it or not. I just chose red because I just found that in the cabinet. Okay, so let's get right into it. So what we are going to do is we're going to take however much um, Play-Doh you want, depends on the flour. I'm not really going to pour a lot, but I'm going to make an average amount. So this is the amount put in. Kind of a lot, but not much. So now what you're going to do is if you put as much as I did, you can put one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So you're just going to do that. And then right away, you can start mixing it with whatever you have. And it, you're plate like ends up getting like too liquidy or too dry just add an extra those extra ingredients like if it ends up too wet just add a little bit more flour if it ends up too dry just uh and add a little um vegetable oil so what it should look like right now is kind of like this doughy texture not really quite sticky yet but somewhere around there so now what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of cream of tartar I usually just dump a little bit in there just maybe like that much it's not a lot because that's just to make the color and the moisture so that's how much I put in there. Then you're just going to mix it together. It should start turning to a dough right away. But if you're just kind of ending like mine, kind of like not kind of clumping together, then just to add a little bit more of uh, all purpose flour or any kind of flour that you have. Just mix it together. And if you end up getting this, like, uh, not coming together, that means it's good. And then what you're going to do is it's going to be a little bit greasy. As you can see, it's in a little doughy texture. Kind of like, um, like really soft dough. Like it's really soft as you can see. So you can squish it. You can mold it. If it ends up being too like greasy, 
again, add a little bit more um, all-purpose flour. Just mix it in with your hands this time. So it will just be easier without using a spoon, so it'll be crumbling it up. So now it kind of looks like mine. Not really, not hard, not too soft. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the bowl like that, just like that. And you're going to add your food coloring dye. doesn't matter which color. Um, you can put any color. You can make multiple colors or just one. And then you're just going to mix that all together. And if you think you're doing it right, it should start looking like this. Kind of like a doughy mixture with that color that you want. I'm going to make multiple colors if I can. <laughs> so then, I think mine's done. So once it starts looking like that, you know, kind of squishy. The same, but whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be in color. If you want it to be in color, it can. And then, it should start looking like this. I'm going to cut to the bowl to the side. And then right here, I have Play-Doh that I've already made. You can just put that in there. Or if you have something separate, then yeah, you could start doing that. I usually just mix mine together with the dough that I already made. And then just start putting it in there. And once you're done, it should look something like this little piece of dough. It's a little break. It's still moldable. You can put it in a piece like that. You can roll it into balls. And then, that is it. You can make this stuff for kids, like if you're babysitting, this is a really good idea. Depends if they're, um, probably the age of like three and up is okay. And then that's how you make Play-Doh instead of getting it from the store for like $3.99. You could just make your own Play-Doh. Thanks for watching. Bye.